New rules to handle irregular arrivals of asylum seekers and migrants to the European Union change everything. Regarding asylum applications, an analyst said ahead of a debate and vote by lawmakers in the EU Parliament on the package. The laws include screening irregular migrants when they arrive in the bloc, procedures for handling asylum applications, rules on determining which European Union country is responsible for handling applications, and ways to handle crises. The new rules will change both how asylum claims are processed and the reception of asylum seekers, migration researcher Alberto Horst Needhart said. The rules will change everything and will change everything from the very beginning when a person will enter uh, the EU irregularly to file an asylum application. The rules that govern the processing of the application itself will change. Uh, more persons will be subject to, to border procedures at the EU's external borders, but also there will be changes to the rules governing the reception of asylum seekers. So what their longer term prospects are in the EU, how member states will support support their integration within uh, member states and also the longer term prospects for them uh, and their longer term stay uh, in the EU. Under the new system, countries not at the border will have to choose between accepting their share of 30,000 asylum applications or paying at least €20,000 per person into a European Union fund. The screening system envisaged will seek to distinguish between those in need of international protection and others who are not. Migrant arrivals in the European Union, a wealthy block of some 450 million people, are way down from the 2015 peak of more than 1 million. Over 45,500 people have entered the European Union so far this year outside of regular entries, United Nations data showed. In the run-up to the European parliamentary elections in which far-right parties are expected to gain ground, the European Union's Executive Commission and heads of states have portrayed the deal as a breakthrough. But human rights groups have said the reforms will put people seeking refuge in the European Union at risk. We all know that uh, uh, European elections uh, will uh, take place in June of this year. So the co-legislators, the Parliament and the Council were under immense pressure uh, to find the solution, but also there is a general impression that without a common solution to some of the problems affecting uh, European migration and asylum system, this issue was only going to get worse. And so some of the political parties that have been mobilizing uh, their forces around the migration issue, especially on the far right, uh, were considered a threat from this perspective. So a solution had to be found and the co-legislators therefore uh, decided to found, find a compromise which is uh, going to be difficult to, to uh, of course, also uh, set in uh, place and, and to implement. Needhart said the new system was a very complex and there was concern that EU members would seek to reduce the number of irregular arrivals through deals with third countries. One of the main concerns for critics is that the agreement introduces a new expedited border procedure for those deemed unlikely to win asylum to prevent them from lingering inside the bloc for years. Their claims will be dealt with in a maximum of 12 weeks and if rejected they should be returned to their home countries within a further 12 weeks the deal says. When looking at the long-term implementation of these rules there is a lot of uncertainty the system which is about to be uh, set in place is also very complex and so there is also a concern that in this context member states will uh, do what they can in order to reduce irregular arrivals to uh, not uh, overburden their national asylum and reception system so there is also a problem aspect where we will see more of what we have already seen in the past years. So more partnership with third countries in order to reduce arrivals and then also return persons who don't have uh, the right to stay in the EU. And while Wednesday's vote is seen as final, it will still need to be formally agreed by member states in the European Council.